Hello, I'm going to show you how to remap the FrogPad one-handed keyboard onto a Mac, uh, both left and right hand. Uh, at the time of this recording, the latest is Mac OS 11 Big Sur, which is what I'm going to demonstrate on today. So we're going to use an application called Carabiner Elements. So we will click this link. I'll also put a link to this program in the video description below. Um, this uh, is going to work on anything that supports Carabiner Elements. So that goes all the way back to Mac OS El Capitan. For these older versions, I've done a video before on how to remap those. So we will go download this, save it to our desktop, open it up. This is a fresh install from scratch I'm showing you today. So we will go through this installation process uh, and the latest uh, Max, with all the security measures they have in place, are going to have to uh, make us enable a lot of uh, things in the uh, system preferences. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. So let's go into our applications and go down to Carabiner Elements and open it up. So we are going to... Security preferences here. Unlock. Type in our password. We are going to allow this and then go through over here and allow everything that has to do with Carabiner. So I think there's a couple things in here. It's going to prompt us and alert us until everything is taken care of. Uh, let's go down here and make sure everything's good. check that make sure our accessibility is good all right so we got it to stop complaining so i think we're in pretty good shape now so let's try and open it up again and we will go over to complex modifications and this is where we're going to go ahead and enable our frog pad so it doesn't come from by default, basically. Uh, I don't know why that's in there, but we'll delete that now. So what we're gonna do is import rules from the internet, which is where the frog pad remap uh, file is. So once we've clicked that, we'll go in here and you can see I've already done it, but we will search for frog pad in here. And it looks like we have two results. Uh, I remapped these both for the left hand and the right hand. Um, so we're going to open this up and it gives a little description about it and where exactly the remaps are. But um, for the left hand, the H key was remapped uh, to the... What? To the L and then for the right hand which is what I'm going to show you today, was remapped to the J key. So if you're familiar with the frog pad, you, you'll basically be able to pick it up at a muscle memory, how, how to type on it. So we're going to go over and click the import button. Uh, we are going to open this in Carabiner Elements. So it just imported the key remap file into carabiner elements uh, right as soon as we click that button so you can see i have it right here i'm going to enable it and there we go 
we should be all set now. Uh, I'm going to show you the right hand, like I said. And then the, the J key is remapped to the H, as you can see up there. Um, the reason I chose that was it has a little groove on it, just like the hardware frog pad has the groove on its H key. So uh, I'll just show you the alphabet up here to demonstrate that. So all the keys are remapped and, you know, like backspace, forward delete, everything. And that has all been documented here. Uh, this is for the right hand and then, you know, the left hand too. So we're all set now in Carabiner Elements. Uh, another thing I wanted to show was... Okay, we have the right hand enabled here. Um, what you can do is go into profiles over here. And here I'll just, so we're going to uh, name this profile FrogPad because it has the FrogPad remap enabled on it. But we can also do is add profile and name that one. A Q for QWERTY, uh, so then that's going to be just our standard QWERTY keyboard without any remaps on it. Oh, why didn't that take? So, okay, so then this QWERTY profi Q profile that's selected right now has no complex modifications on it, which means that the keyboard isn't remapped at all which means, you know, the J is still the J. So that's, uh, you know, so then what you can do is uh, do this drop down right here. Carabiner Elements will automatically put a uh, uh, icon that looks like this in your menu bar. So what you can do is switch between F and Q profiles that we set up to enable and disable the frog pad keyboard. So now I'm on F. I can rename this whatever I want, but I'm on F. So that means I'm in frog pad. So this is the frog pad. And there you go. Um, I think this is probably a preferable way to go on the uh, on a laptop computer because you know you don't want to be walking around with your fro hardware frog pad all the time. So I hope this video uh, was useful to people out there, and let me know in the comments uh, if there's any questions I can answer at all. Uh, I'm happy to help you. All right, thanks. Bye.